We're here with Ernie. Ernie Martinez from Boss Lures. And he's going to explain to us just a couple quick questions, Ernie. How, what goes into the development of these lures? Well, the, all of these lures, first of all, they're all handmade in the USA. There's, we don't import anything. Everything is hand poured. The inserts are made from lead. And uh, that's uh, melted and smelted and poured as well. Um, the resins are all hand poured. We use a ballistic resin which is almost unbreakable. It's the same resin that's used in fighter pilot cockpits. Right. Um, so these lures last for a long time. They don't turn yellow either. Who tests them? You test them all? or? I wish I could tell you I've tested them all, but uh, you know, we, we, we've run quite a few of them, yes. Uh, I know there's a lot of different sizes there. Not everybody knows what these things are for. Sure. If you were going out dolphin fishing, what would you be using? Uh, dolphin fishing, generally smaller lures like these. Uh, jets, uh, bullets, uh, small slants um, for dolphin fishing. We have uh, wahoo lures as well for high-speed wahoo trolling. And the big ones? Well, the big ones are for marlin. Um, we carry everything from large plunger uh, lures to uh, slants for marlin as well. We have jets. We have medium-sized marlin lures, all different sizes, colors. We have uh, eight different insert color choices and 24 square combination choices as well. Well, as far as colors go, do people use different colors for different water conditions or different... Uh, you know, if, if you ask 10 different captains, does this color matter, you get 10 different answers. Um, some guys swear by certain colors, other guys say colors don't matter. Um, I know that I've been on the water and a certain color pattern gets hit over and over again some days and other color patterns don't. So I think it just maybe depends on what the fish are feeding on and, and what they keep on for that day. Well, I, I've been with you for the day now and I know you as a person. And and I love your stuff, but what makes Boss Lures different than everybody else? What, what? Well, the brand Boss has been around for almost 20 years. These lures have been uh, tried and tested. They've won several tournaments. Um, they, like I said before, we don't do anything overseas. Everything is made in the USA. They're all hand poured and we use only the finest resins uh, for the lures. I think your stuff's awesome. I think you're a great guy, and uh, it was a great day with you. We had a great time. We caught some fish on them we too. Caught some fish. We caught some fish with these. <laughs> and, uh, Nice meeting you, and I, Thank hope, you. I wish you well. Thank you very much. Thank you. On. Tell me who you are. Captain Jorge Pinero from Upper Key Sport Fishing. Ernie. How are you? Good to see you nice again. Nice to meet you again, <laughs> man. I'll tell you, I, I just got to tell you about uh, these boss lures. I mean, I've used all kinds of lures. I mean, I've been marlin fishing pretty much all my life. That's my favorite thing to fish for. And I've tried all kinds. I've tried, oh geez. Anyway, is yeah. that getting in the way? Nah, we're good. All right. I've used, I've used all kinds of lures for quite a while and you know, the black barts and you know, all the mold craft lures and things like that. And I'll tell you, once I started trying these things, I mean, the, the fish raising ability is just really, really nice. Personally, down here in the Keys, I mean, it's really tough to find blue marlin, but I'll tell you, we've had a couple of these like in these colors you know these colors like right here and these colors in here basically and I've got a favorite of mine which uh, Ernie has right here which is the uh, Madeira 55 right? Yep. The Madeira 55 I mean these are phenomenal lures I'll tell you if they work down here they're gonna work literally all over the world. Think everybody should have a boatload of them? I think everybody should have at least <laughs> at least two of those, one in big, one in extra large, and then one of the small ones. Well, then let me ask Ernie. Ernie, you think everybody should have a boatload of a these? A boatload of them. There Pretty we go. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Appreciate right. it. Great day, guys.